Give the gift of financial independence to someone who is blind. Penny Forward, a nonprofit organization founded and led by blind people, needs your donation to provide accessible financial education programs to strengthen our community. Our podcast, online courses, group workshops, and one-to-one financial counseling are helping people like Desiree Christian succeed in their personal, professional, and financial lives. Chris at Penny Forward really helped me take my own self-imposed Dropbox out from under me, away from me, and went, oh, gee, I can do a thing even if life is hard. So I did a thing and Flaunt Your Ability now exists. FlauntYourAbility.com Visit PennyForward.com to empower blind people as we build bright futures one penny at a time. Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of changing how much information JAWS gives you and where you can go to experiment with that a little. Now, this is called verbosity, and verbosity is how much information you are presented as the user. Think about it like this. Uh, Honestly, I asked ChatGPT, what's the best way to explain verbosity to a user who might not be as familiar with this term? And the scenario it gave was, think about when you ask someone for directions. Some people are more in-depth than others. One person might say something like, go down the road, make a right, and it'll be there on your left. Another person, when asked the same question, might say, go down the road by three and a half miles, there'll be a gas station on your right-hand side, just past it at the light, make a right, and then the destination of your favorite restaurant will be on the left with a sign on the door. Can you tell how you got the same information, but some of that information was omitted in the first example? So we can use verbosity settings to customize what it is we hear when we're navigating the web. And hopefully this will make a little more sense to you when we jump into it. I have my verbosity set to medium, which means I hear some things, but there's other things I don't want to hear. For example, when I'm arrowing through, I don't really care how many items are inside a list because I don't use list navigation. So it would save me an arrow key if I disabled list announcements and we'll walk you through that process. So I'm going to demonstrate this to you by jumping in and exploring the unmute.show website. If I press my down arrow, I hear... Link skip to content. Visited link graphic unmute. Primary navigation region. List of six items. Visited current page link home. Link news. Link episodes. Link about. Link unmute merch. Link sign in. List end. Primary navigation region end. Main region. Article. Heading level one home. Heading level three on mute, be heard. And that's the top of the homepage that you hear if you're just down arrowing. There's a lot of extraneous information that is nice to be aware of, but I don't need to hear every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press JAWS key and the number six. Set dash JAWS setting center dialog. Search box edit. Type in text. Control plus E. This puts you into a search field where you can press tab once. Preview user closed one of twenty seven to move through or expand items use the arrow keys. And then down arrow to web slash HTML slash PDFS closed. Because this is closed, we'll tap our right arrow to open it. Web slash HTML slash PDFS open eight items. And then down arrow at this point. Level one reading closed one of eight. And we'll tap right arrow. Reading open ten items. Read only edit use the options in this group to customize how web pages, HTML files, and PDF files are read. Use your reading keys to read the text. And we press the tab key to get that information. So I'm going to shift tab back to the settings. Three view, reading, open, 10 items to move through or expand items. And we know that there are 10 items in this category. So I'm going to down arrow. Level 2, web verbosity, level medium, 1 of 10, reading web slash HTML slash PDFS. This is a preset verbosity level that I have mine set to, which is currently medium. If we press our down arrow. Configure web verbosity levels closed. We can configure the web verbosity level. And because it's closed, we'll tap right arrow to open it. Configure web verbosity levels open, three items. And there are three items. I know that those are low, medium, and high. I'm going to choose medium and press the space bar. Level three, high dot dot dot, one of medium dot dot dot. That dot 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 tells me that this has a dialogue available. So when I press the space bar, I'll be able to access more options. 
Medium virtual cursor verbosity preferences dialog. Announce start and end for colon preview. Block quotation checked. One of 15. To move through or expand items, use the arrow keys. Alt plus S. Now this gives me a list of 15 items. It's actually more than that. That I can go down and check or uncheck the whether or not I hear those items. Press your down arrow. Level zero. Clickable elements. Not checked. Who described by announcement. Not checked. Feed. Checked. Figure. Checked. Flash object. Not checked. Frame. Not checked. Group box. Checked. List checked. I found list here, and I'm going to uncheck that. List not checked. 9 of 15. If I press my down arrow again. Log checked. Note checked. Regions partially checked. Level 1. Application not checked. 1 of 11. And now I'm in 11 different regions that could be spoken or not. So if I tap down arrow. Article checked. Article's fine because our support tool uses articles. Actually, this will save me some time, so I'm going to uncheck article. Article not checked. Two of eleven. And then down arrow. Banner not checked. Complementary information not checked. Content information not checked. Document not checked. Form not checked. Main region checked. I'm going to uncheck main region. Main region not checked. Eight of eleven. Navigation region checked. Uncheck navigation region. Navigation region not checked. Nine of eleven. And you might wonder, what does that mean? If you press your tab key. Read only edit. Use your reading keys to read the text. The navigation region usually contains a collection of navigational elements left parent usually links right parent for navigating a page or related. Pages. Select this item to hear where navigation region starts and ends. Start and end strings are shown by default for this item at this verbosity level. If I press shift tab. Announce start and end for colon preview. Region. Not checked. Search region. Not checked. When I'm done making my choices, if I press tab twice. Read OK button to activate. Press space bar. Alt plus O. I can press space bar or tap alt O to quickly activate. OK. JAWS setting center dash set dialog three view level three medium dot 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 two of three configure web verbosity levels reading web slash html slash pdfs to move through or expand items use the arrow keys now there's another option that i'd like to change so i'm going to tap my down arrow until i get to document and web pages automatically read when loaded checked and i don't want that to happen so i'm going to uncheck that not checked if i press tab twice read o, apply button to activate press space bar alt plus a there's an apply button. We can also press Alt A. We'll press space. Three view. And then tab twice to OK. Re OK button to activate. Press space bar. Home dash unmute dash Microsoft Edge. Home dash unmute dash Microsoft Edge page. Heading level three unmute be heard. So as you heard, I'm back on heading level three unmute be heard. And we're going to go back up to the top of unmute dot show. Home dash unmute. And I'm going to down arrow through here and you'll hear what this sounds like now. Link skip to content. Visited link graphic unmute. Visited current page link home. Link news, link episodes, link about, link unmute merch, link sign in, heading level one home, heading level three unmute be heard. As you can hear, it was a lot less verbose when navigating this page. For more content like this, check out unmute.show. Attention listeners, mark your calendars for Colorado Gives Day on December 10th. Support Aftersight and give to the causes you care about. Go to coloradogivesday.org slash organizations slash aftersight between now and December 10th to make your donation. 